All right, I'm going to be uh, either privating or deleting the other video. I definitely worded things very poorly. And uh, there were some things that people were showing me wrong that I was wrong on. But there are some other areas that just really frustrate me. Because every time I try to talk, I say anything negative about a culture uh, that I'm not a part of, I have the riot act read to me, pretty much. Now, I guess it's it's depending on whether or not I'm saying something positive or negative. If I say something positive, of course, the people of that culture won't mind. But the culture that I've been talking about is not. It's not like permanently attached to a to a to a culture. It's not permanently attached to a race. You know, culture and race are interchangeable. But the culture I am talking about is very popular here in the United States for those of a, of a particular race. And this culture is hyper-masculine. It's, you know, yo, what, yo, what's up? Uh, 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 you got a problem? Even if it's not said that that way, they could they could just look at you like, you know, um. And there is an accent. There are there are mannerisms. There are uh, uh, the way that someone walks. There's 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 all these different things that are all in common they they all all of these things all having these this same thing going on it doesn't frighten me as much as it once did but it frightens me it and it frightens a number of gay people men i should say gay men because because a lot of gay men struggle with their masculinity um or they've kind of given up on it and then when they're around someone who has it in full force and it takes it to extremes, it it makes them uncomfortable. You can say, well, that's their problem. Well, it, it, it indeed is. But it doesn't change the fact that that's the way those people feel. Other people that would uh, make me feel that same way would be someone that has that has a, that's wearing a swastika. Yeah, I'm gonna feel the same way. I'm gonna feel the same way, especially if they have the attitude to go with it. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna feel the same way. Going out and socializing should not be some sort of masculine competition. I feel very strongly about that. You know, if you if you want to do competitive things, fine. You know, find an outlet for it. Find an outlet for it, but don't make just your everyday goddamn life a fucking competition to see how fucking masculine you are. Stupid. Can't stand it. And I find it frightening. Now you can proceed to call me a wuss, a sissy, a, a faggot, a, a whatever it is that you want for admitting to this fear that I have. I'm not into the whole hyper-masculinity thing. I like having a mask, you know, do what I can to have a masculine appearance, but I'm certainly not into the, all the, the hyper-masculine movements and all of that. I just want to be myself. So...